Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Mari. I've changed my format a little bit. I've decided we're gonna do one more complete buster kill. Give Marissa a little screen time, because I will admit I haven't been using her much. We're going to Cyrano stage. This is going to be a very quick run. It's a very easy, straightforward stage. She's probably was designed to be that one easy boss that every Mega Man game has that you can easily take out with your normal gun just to give you a break. I didn't do her earlier primarily because the weapon you get from her isn't very good. Either version isn't particularly useful. And we get a more... I wasn't paying attention yet. Here we have Lily White again. Okay, and just for time purposes, I'm gonna show off some more weapons. This is Reincarnation Ghost. I love this thing. This is what Leaf Shield should have been like. The only problem is... Well, certain enemies like Lily White are immune to it. Probably gonna just try to ignore her when I can. She has some weird, annoying spawn rate. Feedback. As far as I know, there's nothing up there. I've tried going to the left in that little spot. I... Can't seem to find anything. There are some obscure hidden things in this game, and I'm sometimes really unsure of where things might be. I know there is an eh, extra life. I get a lot of those throughout this LP. They're really not supposed to be that common. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I know that there's supposed to be things like mega tanks in this game somewhere, but I just can't say I've ever found one. If anyone happens to know where it is, feel free to leave me a comment that tells me. Oh, darn, I could have used that little extra bit of life. Oh well, no matter. Don't need Alice for the stage. Stage boss, I should say. So yeah, there, there is a mega tank somewhere in this game, because I've been saving my progress to a password generator that seems to have a slot for, for a mega tank in it. Oh no, right in the pit. That's what I get for being careless. I deserve it! Okay. Okay, yeah, back to the start here. That completely undoes the extra life I just earned. Okay, take the hit time to go through. Damn you, Lily! Oh, there we go. I'm back out ahead. Could use that before. Okay. Just use. Okay. Let's see, I'm trying to think. What other little oddities I have found in this game that just plain confuse me? Hmm. Not too many I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, I remember one now. The... If anyone remembers back in video one, early on throughout the Sakura stage, there is a ladder going down, and there's Lyrica Prism River just right in front of it. The weird thing about it, that seems perfectly fine and dandy if it wasn't for the fact that there's no way to get down to that ladder and Lyrica's weapon doesn't go high enough to actually hit you through the floor. If there's any way to get down that ladder, please tell me. Uh, like, once again, I have no idea what to do about that. I've tried finding a way to get down there, and no success at all. So, hell, I, I guess it's worth a laugh if I've been chasing a red herring all this time. But here's the boss. Anyway, moving on with Cyrano. Yes, the whole stage is over, the whole floor is over ice too, but again, she dies really quick. And this is the one damaging attack she has. That can chop off half your life in one shot. Yep, that was, they even included the blind spot that she's known for. That would have killed me if I got hit by that. Really hard to actually clear that reliably. Oh, I almost got through that. Okay, 
I'm just gonna let those go. I was getting a little careless there. Nothing she throws at it, you does too much damage aside from the giant ice shot, which is called the White Rose Cluster. That's what Alice would get if you gave it to her, except she has to charge it up like atomic, kind of like atomic fire from Heat Man. This is Icicle Vulcan. It, again, it, neither of these weapons are particularly useful outside of killing the boss that's weak to it. This is basically the machine gun of little icicles we got from her. Nothing special, it's kind of weak. It's weaker than, than Mercer's normal gun, but it's pretty handy in large clusters of enemies where you don't really have to care about your aim because it sprays off in weird little angles. But that's enough of my rambling. Let's, mo let's move on to the next stage. All that's left are, is a rabbit and a crazy physician. We'll be taking out them soon enough. See you again soon.